Hello and welcome in this tutorial about a donut chart. I want to show you how to design something like that and how to animate it because I was asked how could we possibly animate this type of donut charts. Now there is an important thing that we start right here from the top side because we are limited by the animations that PowerPoint gives us. Now, we need to use the wheel animation and the wipe animation and the wheel animation always start from this point like clockwise so this is why this design looks like that all right but first things first this video will be separated into the design part and the animation part let's make a clean canvas right click format background and i went for a dark background you can click on gradient fill or a normal solid fill i simply used a ui gradient i found on uigradients.com. I went to show all and I've just selected a dark one like this Midnight City or Mirage. You can click here, eyedropper, click here inside of PowerPoint, move your mouse and just select this gradient. Once you have a background established, you want to go to insert, shapes, and you will be looking for this little shape. This is the block arc shape. We will design one of those. I will press my shift key and I will make an arc like that. I want to make sure that this will be the starting point. I select this rotation tool, I click on it, I press my shift key and I rotate this object so it's even in this point. My first donut is around 93%, so I want to make it almost full. How do I do this? I just take this yellow dot, I move it forward and I can also make this thicker or thinner. So I make it pretty thin like this because I plan to create two of them. So I press Ctrl D to duplicate it and I simply make it smaller so it approximately covers this object over it. Once you have both created, select them, shape format, shape outline and select no outline. When it comes to the design, I showed you that I used gradients. I will select the outer one, make sure that you've selected the outer one Right click, format shape, and you will have the formatting open. Go to gradient fill. It automatically selects the previous gradient, but actually here I want a different gradient. So I'll select the first color. I'll open it, eyedropper, again, click inside of PowerPoint and use this blue one. Perfect. Now the second color, for some reason, PowerPoint, when I click here, sometimes you need to click twice this eyedropper. So I click in PowerPoint. I click once again on the eyedropper, I click inside in PowerPoint and I grab this tealish color. All right, this is everything you need to know about the gradient. Now on the next object, you will already have the colors memorized. When you go to color, you can see I have those two colors here. So I just select color number one. Oh, sorry, gradient. Basically PowerPoint should copy the gradient, but if not, you have the colors in the recent colors. I will select both colors open, more colors, here you can copy the exact color value uh, since, since sometime PowerPoint also allows hex colors, which is great. What I want to do with this color to distinguish between the inner and the outer part is make this a bit darker. All right, a bit darker for both colors, more colors, making it darker will give this entire design a bit of depth. As you can see, if they are not touching each other, as weird as this sounds, you can simply make this again a bit bigger with your shift key and with your arrow keys position it properly. All right, perfect. This design would be almost finished. Now I just inserted a text box, inserted a triangle or something like a triangle and a circle in the middle, but that's not super mandatory. You can, for example, make it simpler by going to insert text box, um, like 92% this time. And I make this text box bigger because I don't want to waste your time. Ctrl B to make it uh, bold. Of course, I should select a different font. In my case, I selected Dosis, which is an amazing font. And when it comes to the font gradient, you don't have to click on shape. You have to click on text options, text options, gradient, and we should repeat the colors. So let me make this very quickly. Boom, blue. And this was the second blue. All right, we can change the angle if we want to to like more match uh, this entire design from right to left side. And this would be 
how we created the design part of this animation. Now watch closely. The reason I'm using the wheel animation to animate this because that's how I animated it. I animated each object separately, those two, then this, and then the text. So everything flows nicely together. But the problem is when it comes to smaller lines like this. I'll show you why. If you want to animate this design, select the out, maybe the inner as well with the shift key, go to animations and select the wheel. The wheel always starts from here. This is why I've started from here as well. Now, Ctrl C, Ctrl V, let me show you what would happen if the animation starts from here. The animation always starts clockwise. So if you would make your donut chart like this, for example, and you click the wheel, you can see it starts here, then it goes around and it stops here. This looks really weird. So it's easier to have the starting point somewhere here. Let me delete this and let's just continue with this animation. I'll open the animation pane instead of the format background and I wanna preview what I did. Maybe the second animation, I give it a slight delay. Beautiful, we have this wheel circle motion. We can do something about this text. I click on this text box and I simply give it a wipe. I will give it a wipe and in the effect options, I go from right side. This is because this circle is revealing from this to this side. As you can see, this animation is very short. I wanna right click, select with previous, I want to delay it maybe two points so it's 0 0.75 seconds and make it longer so this entire animation flows together as maybe a bit too late that's no problem we can reduce the delay and everything would flow in nicely together this is how you can animate those kind of donut charts in powerpoint where another problem arises uh, the wheel animation in my opinion this is a bug and I'll try to contact Microsoft about this because when this line is much, uh, much closer like this, it's half a line and we select the wheel animation, look what happens. It starts here, it goes and then it, it finishes this part. So if you have a shorter line like this, for example, 20, 30, 40%, you can do a little workaround, which will be the wipe animation. You can select the wipe animation and you can simply change the direction from top. You can see it looks almost identical, almost as if we had a wipe. So for any line that is at least half of the circle, feel free to use the wheel. Oh, it seems not. So it has to be really long to make the wheel possible. And for those shorter lines, like for example, half a line or something like this, you can use the wipe animation. The wipe animation from top, it will look almost identical. Just look at what I did here. I animated everything here. It was wheel, wheel, and here it was wipe. You couldn't tell the difference. Boom, boom, and beautiful. We have three very similar animations. As of now, you do not need a bakery to create donuts. You can create donut charts right here in PowerPoint. I hope this is very helpful and thank you for listening.